Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. We are making a ribeye steak. And not just any old regular ribeye steak. We're gonna be cooking this steak in the sous vide. Sous vide is basically a hot water bath. It cooks the food at a perfect temperature. And the best thing about it is you can leave it for a couple hours and you don't have to worry about it because it won't overcook. But it adds so much flavor into your food. And that's what we're doing today. We're gonna to be doing a steak in the sous vide so we can get some awesome flavor in it. So let's get to the recipe. Since you're here, hit the like and subscribe button and make sure that the notification bell is ring. Check me out on social media. That way you can get notification of all my new recipes. We're gonna take one teaspoon of kosher salt, one teaspoon of black pepper, and a half of a teaspoon of granulated garlic, and we're gonna mix that together. That's gonna be our steak seasoning. And I'm using my new Zule Kitchen spoon set. This is a really, really awesome set. I don't like to talk about a lot of products, but this product right here is made with really good quality and it's got magnets, so that way you can put everything in your drawer and it's all in one complete set. Now we're gonna take this beautiful Black Angus premium ribeye steak and we're gonna give it a good seasoning with that steak seasoning that we made earlier. Now gently pat the seasoning onto the steak and then we're gonna go ahead and flip and we're gonna be seasoning up the other side. And you know, you wanna get the sides of the steak also, so you know, when, once you're done seasoning that side, you can you know, apply a little bit to the side or you can just you know, pick it up at what you have on your cutting board. And we're also gonna be adding one tablespoon of butter. Now we're gonna place our steak in a Ziploc bag and we're gonna seal it up. So what we wanna do is we wanna take the top of that bag and fold it back so that we don't get any of the particles onto the bag from the steak because then you're gonna have some issues when it tries to seal. So now we're just gonna fold it up and we're gonna give it a seal. When you vacuum seal it, you wanna make sure that you pull on the edges on the back of it so that way you can make sure that you get all that air out of the bag. Now that our steak's in the Ziploc bag and all sealed up, we're gonna come over here to our sous vide. So I got my tub full of water and we're gonna set the temperature to 129 degrees. And we're gonna just start it up by pressing the little play button right there and we're gonna let the water heat up. Your Anova sous vide will actually start circulating the water and start heating it up. And once it hits the temperature of 129 degrees, we're gonna go ahead and put our steak in there. And we're gonna let this cook for one hour. If you go over one hour, it doesn't matter because you're not gonna overcook it because it's gonna stay at the exact same temperature. While our steak's in the sous vide, we're gonna make a chimichurri sauce. So we're gonna take one cup of cilantro, a quarter cup of parsley, three garlic cloves, a, a quarter of a small red onion, and a half of a lime squeezed. Now I'm using this Zule Kitchen lime squeezer. This thing is really, really awesome. It's made of good quality, and the thing I like about it, it's got two portions, one that you can use limes, and you can do lemons. It's really hard to find a lemon squeezer like that, so when I seen this, I was like, yeah, I gotta have it. They sent this to me, so that way I can have it in my kitchen. Then we're also gonna be adding one quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, and then we're gonna season it with salt and pepper to taste, and then I forgot one ingredient, which after I blended it, I remembered. We're gonna be adding in a about a teaspoon of chili flakes. So as you can see that I blended it, but there it is. Chili flakes, and then give it another blend. Now you wanna just go ahead and check to see if you need more seasoning. So if you do feel like you need more salt, go ahead. After the cook time is up on your steaks, we're gonna go ahead and pull it out of the water. Now it is a little hot, so you wanna go ahead and just grab the bag with some tongs. And as you can see, it's, it's cooked. It don't look good right now, but uh, once we're done with a little bit of love and care, it's gonna be a very delicious looking steak. Now we're gonna take that steak out of the bag and we're gonna give it a tap down with some napkins uh, because we wanna get a good sear on there. So you wanna make sure that there's no moisture on the steak. Now we're gonna take a cast iron pan and we're gonna give it a little bit of oil. And we want this on high heat. We want these uh, steaks to get a really, really good sear. So we're gonna cook them for about 30 to 45 seconds per side. Now I also am gonna be, you know, searing off the sides of the steak. So just you get, get you a timer and just count it down. So let it do its thing. 
and you should have a perfect sear on those steaks and they're gonna be perfectly done. Once you seared off your steak, you wanna go ahead and let your steak rest for five to 10 minutes. Guys, look at that beautiful steak. This thing is perfect medium rare. And by looking at all those juices, I know it's gotta be flavorful. So let's get into this piece right here to give it a try. This thing is so juicy, so flavorful. Every seasoning that I put on this steak, you taste it, and you even taste the butter. This is fantastic. All right, I wanna get a little piece with this uh, chimichurri. That is perfect, look at that bite right there. It's full of juices, really, really juicy. All right, so let's go ahead and get some of this chimichurri sauce. Itself, I really wasn't finished feeling the chimichurri sauce on the steak. It's really, really good. Yeah, I gotta get some more of that. Yeah, that chimichurri sauce is perfect for steaks, guys. This steak is fantastic. What do you guys think, kids? It's amazing. It's good? Even with the sauce? Uh-huh. What, mm -hmm. what about you, Jazzy? Did you try the sauce? Or is it too spicy for she you? She didn't try the sauce. I just like it with daddy. You like it without it? Mm -hmm. Kid approved. <laughs> Beautiful, juicy steak. Every single time when you cook it on sous vide, you get that perfect medium rare. Even if you don't like medium rare, you can, you can still cook it up to a higher temperature and you get the doneness that you're looking for. But it's precise every single time. <laughs> here, Jazzy. All right, here's me cut up the rest of them. Yep, that's a good steak, Bella. What you think, Jazzy? Good one? Nice and juicy? Very juicy. Oh, yeah. It's because I don't know why I like them without it. Well, you didn't even try it. How would you know that the sauce is good or not if you didn't even try it without no. it? And it's just she doesn't like the color. Oh, you don't like the color because it's green? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Now we can see future videos just like this and many more. If you have any questions, as always, leave it down in the comment section. And guys, everything that I use is in the, in the video description. If you guys want to check out some of this equipment, go check it out. I got these recipes. They're really good. You should try them out. Now y'all be beautiful and take care.